Hello, how are you today? It's Deligracy here, you guys. Awkward waving to you. What am I doing with my life? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I'm so excited because today we are beginning our Let's Play The Sims 4 Single Dad Let's Play. I'm going to start off the series with webcam. I got a little bit dulled up for you guys. I even did the really difficult task of putting on false eyelashes for you. I know. I'm amazing. The things I do for you, for your entertainment, is just out of this world. Anyway, I'm not gonna be boring and do a massive long intro. I know what we wanna do is just play Sims, so let's get into it. Cheers! First things first, I would like you to meet your new friend in this Let's Play. This is Awan Sasuli. He is a young adult and he is going to be our single dad. And he's really cute. I mean, I'm kind of attracted to him. I'm always attracted to my male sims. I don't know. I just love making attractive male sims. I can't help it. Awan Sasuli, um, I'm thinking he has like a Pakistani heritage. That's kind of what I'm going with. And he dreams of being a super parent. He's family oriented. He's a perfectionist and he's is creative so in his spare time he's going to enjoy doing a little bit of woodworking because we know tradies get the ladies am i right so that's awan sasuli give this video a thumbs up if you think he is hot and then he has his daughter azra sasuli and she is absolutely gorgeous she is a social butterfly and she's also creative after her dad she's got beautiful pigtails and a cute little denim dress okay i don't need to explain everything you're already looking at you get the picture and then we have little hayden sasuli oh my god I love him. Look at him in this little, like, little wine butt PJs. I mean, I wish I could wear this. He also wears a little cap because I have not got toddlers to wear the little cap yet. I don't know why, but yeah, he's got a few cute little outfits, overalls, yada, yada, yada. And he is an inquisitive young soul. So yeah, he's going to inquisitive a tie during this let's play. So let's jump into it, shall we, friends? Let's see the apartment. The Sasulis are going to be living in this apartment building right here in San Myshuno. And I have done a build video, which you guys can check out. So this is the apartment interior. Obviously there's lots of cracks on the wall. It's not meant to look like a perfect or expensive apartment because these guys have not got a lot of money. They're kind of broke at this stage. I mean, they have nice furniture and I did it um, all under 20,000 simoleons, but we're gonna have to be making some money quickly and we're gonna make sure this family works from the bottom all the way up to the top until they're absolutely slaying life. But yeah, this is where they're starting out. And I mean, I still really love this apartment. I still think it's really, really cute and warm and friendly. So I actually don't think it would be that bad living here by any means. So there's a little lounge room. Here's the woodwork table and little child creative station. We are going to be using laundry in this pack because hello, I love doing laundry in The Sims 4. Azra is being a very good girl washing her hands. I wonder what Azra is gonna turn out like. I wonder if she's gonna be really difficult as a teenager and child or if she's gonna to be like a goody two shoes let me know in the comments down below there's a bath time in the kids bedroom we have little hayden they do share a room um so as azra ages up she's probably going to want a little bit more privacy so hopefully we can afford to get her a room of her own or we'll have to kind of separate the room a little bit it's a pretty cute room we've got lots of things on the walls i wanted it to look like a very realistic kids room azra's little pink corner she does love the color pink we do have a thermostat we are going to be playing with seasons. Although I have disabled snow because I didn't really want snow in the game. I don't know. It doesn't snow much in Australia where I live and I just, I don't know, I just don't like the snow very much. I'm sorry, don't hate me. And through here is Awan's room. So Awan uh, lives in a pretty plain room. I wanted it to be super realistic, like, Let's go stereotypical boys room where there's not much furniture in it. Maybe just a random sports poster on the wall. Um, he's got like a little car and dresser. So yeah, it's, it's all pretty basic, but you know, I also wanted to make sure that this let's play had a little bit of depth. So the mother is going to be in the picture a little bit for these kids as well as their grandparents. I love elders in the Sims 4 and I feel like we don't play enough with elders. So I've included them. So their mom's name is Naomi Larson and Naomi and Awan broke up basically because she is not really the nicest person. She's a little bit mean. She's had a lot of problems. She wasn't capable of being a good role model for her kids. So that's why they are living with Awan and Naomi is living with her parents. 
Um, so they have Grandma Judith and they also have Grandpa Boozy Larson. Now I did get these characters off of the gallery and changed them up a little bit to suit the Let's Play. And then Awan also has his grandmother here, Ami. And Ami, I think in Urdu, the second language I think spoken in Pakistan, um, Ami means mum. I'm so sorry about my pronunciation if you guys speak this language. I don't mean to be insensitive. I'm trying my best here. Because he calls his mom Ami, the kids are also going to call her Ami as well. Even though it's not grandmother, it means mother. I just figured that they would copy what their dad says. So that's that's the name we're giving her for now. And yeah, that is that is pretty much um, what's going on. So hopefully they can go see their grandparents. They might have a few nights with their mom. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this family. And, and especially if you guys have separated parents, I do. I I would love to hear like how you have grown up with your parents, whether or not you ever see one of your parents. Do you ever see them? Are they completely out of your life? Do you spend half and half time with your mom and dad? Everyone has a different situation. So I think it's really interesting to, to talk about it because no one's really normal, are they? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. All right, boy, time to get up. Wakey, wakey. The sun is shaky. I don't, I don't know the saying. Okay, I think he was just getting food for himself. So I'm actually gonna make sure that he serves some proper breakfast for the kids. Let's do some scrambled eggs and bacon. Oh, and look who is here. Little Hayden's doing a little fatty waddy. Okay, so he is very, very hungry. Can kids put, no, kids can't put toddlers in high chairs. Stop having a little tantrum. We are going to get you some food in just a moment. Hayden is very hungry, be sure to feed him before he gets taken away. No, no, okay, we're already failing at this single dad thing. Let's multitask. Okay, right now I'm pretty nervous because there's scrambled eggs on the stove whilst we are carrying our toddler over to the high chair. I feel like this is gonna start up in flames in a second. Oh, Azra's already gone to school. We didn't even get to tell her to have a good day. Oh well. Well, let's maybe get her to make some friends. Off camera, I did get her to hang out with a few girls from around the city that I've placed in. So there's lots and lots of kids around that you guys have created, which is really good. Hayden decided he wanted animal crackers. Fussy little toddler. <laughs> He's so cute though. I don't, you could be as fussy as you want. I'm gonna be the worst mom ever. I'm just gonna be the mom that gives their kids everything they want and then they end up as spoiled brats. No, I won't. I'll be a good mom. Strict mom. <clears throat> this is so realistic though. Like him eating the sandwich he made for his kid and then the kid didn't want to eat it. He's like, fine, I'll eat it. And they're just having a little bit of man to man time. A little bit of kid to daddy time. Now, one thing that we haven't done is um, Awan doesn't have a job. So we're going to have to get him to join a career. I think he needs money quickly. He doesn't have a whole heap of skills yet. He's pretty low. I mean, he's got level three parenting, which is pretty good. He's got level three handiness because he does enjoy doing woodwork in his like off time. So maybe bit by bit, we can work up to selling his sculptures, but I think he just needs to get a job to support his kids. Ooh, should we buy a lottery ticket? Probably, we are desperate for money. We're gonna go for that lottery ticket. I wonder what numbers we've chosen. 5, 25, 26, 28, 59, 7, 14, 79, 104. I don't even know. I've never entered the lottery before. Okay, so we've bought a lottery ticket today because today is the lottery. So we'll see how we go. But I think it's important that we do find a job. So let's do that next. Also, I really just like having this on the bench. Oh no, we have to clean it up. I mean, we could resume it. A lot of you wanted him to do the detective career when I asked you guys on Twitter. So we could do the detective career career but it does take a lot of effort to be promoted i think because you have to go to work with your sim and that can get a little bit like laborious is laborious the right word i don't think he's much of a doctor i feel like he probably wouldn't be well suited to that i mean he could just go into the culinary career like hospitality for a quick buck like he could just be an assistant dishwasher for now he could help dig holes gardening Nah, I feel like we've done so much gardening recently with seasons. We probably don't need to do that. Or a critic. We could just be a paper deliverer. Ooh, arts critic and food critic. Well, he's a sculpture artist. The politician career isn't such a bad option because he'd be working eight until 3 p.m., which is kind of around the same time the kids would be at school. I mean, obviously the toddler's at home for now, but later on that could be good for him. Or the critic career is only 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. So he's not earning as much money, but it would give him a lot of time at home. So maybe we'll go with the critic career, I think. Should a Juan Sicily get a jump start and accept the assignment? Absolutely. And why are you crying, my little, my little, my little boy? 
Uh-oh. Oh, no. Who gave him sugar? I didn't give you sugar. I guess the animal crackers. I thought they were like good animal crackers. Oh, Azra has met Leonard while at school. Oh, that's nice. Now, our little Bambino is pretty happy. Um, I think we'll just let our little Bambino, Bambino you know, build a tower, get creative over here, do his thing. And a one, we'll just quickly go to the toilet. And then I think what we should do is start, you know, getting up our writing skill. So we'll go over here and write a column for starters. Maybe he's writing a column just about let's write a column about bin delivery in the city maybe it's like new york for those of you guys who have been to new york or live in new york your bin situation is so bad like there's not even proper bins or trash cans as you guys call them in canada and america it's just bags of rubbish in the city it's crazy so maybe he's talking about that because it's the same in sam Maishino. maybe they moved here not too long ago you know the other good thing is if we level up in writing and sculpture we could actually start selling books for some extra money so this could become pretty lucrative in the future oh look grandma ami is wondering if we want to meet her someplace okay Accept and we'll travel with our... What? We can't travel with our own child? Um, excuse me? No, then fine. We're not going. I ain't going if I can't bring my own child. We'll see her later. We'll just continue practicing writing. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and write a book. Let's just do it. Maybe he's writing a book for his daughter. So, um, we'll call it... We'll call it Princess Sisuli, and this can be for uh, his daughter to read. And we'll level up his writing skill that way, and then we will finish our home assignment straight away, which is pretty good. Oh no, look who's coming here for a little bit of daddy attention. Oh, he wants to speak with his dad. He's like, what are you doing, daddy? Just one sec, Hayden. Oh, how can you say no to this? I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, Hayden, what kind of mess have you made? What a naughty boy. Okay, Azura is home from school and she's playing with her dolls already. So let's get her dad to come over here and welcome Wagon. Welcome her home, I guess. And give her a, a heartfelt compliment. He's gonna say hello to his sweet little princess as soon as she's back from school. And we should tell her that we're writing a storybook for her. She's like, school was awesome. I made a new friend, dad. He's really, really nice. And I'm gonna marry him like oh cute oh you guys Azra just became good friends with Juan well that's nice so it is 4 30 um I think it is time for her to have a little bit of fun so maybe we could play dolls with her little brother actually how is Hayden doing he's doing okay he's in pretty pretty good nick at this stage oh hey neighbor I'm bored want to hang out for a bit we can socialize or do whatever your heart desires I mean, I wouldn't mind socializing for a bit. So here is our neighbor, Sean. We have a little bit of a relationship with him. So let's agree to hang out. Oh, did he just leave us? I swear he was like, oh, you're taking too long. I'm bailing. Also, I really dislike this flooring. It looks like they forgot to put floor tiles down. I'm pretty sure this guy's also a single dad, um, maybe with a son or daughter. So these guys can relate on a lot of levels. And he lives just across the hallway, which is pretty cool. So let's gossip about the neighbors a little bit. Tell a funny story, you know, get to know each other. Talk about the warm temperature. I mean, whenever you're unsure about what to talk about, you should always talk about the weather because it's just like the easiest thing ever. And everyone is interested in the weather. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, hi. What is going on? I don't think you should be down on your knees in front of your neighbor. We have officially determined that Awan is very socially awkward. That's unfortunate. But relatable. Oh my gosh, his mom has messaged again. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Oh, Ami, you're so sweet. Let's maybe invite her over. Let's invite her over. And look at these kitties playing, having a little play. Oh, who's a good little boy? Is he putting himself to bed? What a kid. What a wonder kid. He's my golden child. Look who's at the front door. It's Ami. Oh my gosh. Don't you love her floral outfit? She's so fabulous, but she looks so sad. Oh, she's going straight to the bathroom to make herself feel more positive. What a good, what a strong woman, you know? She's, oh my gosh, she's upset in the bathroom. Okay, maybe not a, you know, you can still be strong and cry. Okay, there's nothing wrong with crying. I cry all the time. Oh, mother-son hug. That's beautiful. 
Can he like cheer her up or something? Oh, and we definitely should give his mum an apartment key, for sure. We're not giving the kid's mums an apartment key, cause she's crazy, but we'll give his mum, uh, Ami, a key. I really want to know if we won some money, because it would be really good if we could. Ask to move in. We don't really have room for her to move in, unfortunately. Okay, we need to clean this up. Oh, is oh my gosh, our neighbor's cleaning up our, our kid's mess. He is such a nice guy. He is such a nice guy. Let's get him to serve some dinner. Uh, let's just do mac and cheese for everyone. And everyone can stay for dinner if they would like to. We're just gonna make some mac and cheese for all of our friends that are over and for the kitties. I feel like Azra should go over to her grandmother and maybe ask for some help with her homework. Uh, actually, where is her homework? Let's put her homework over here. Let's just pop that there. And uh, do homework and we'll also ask for some help from her grandmother. Oh, she's gonna do homework with her brother. She's probably like oh. pretending to teach her brother while he's sleeping. Where is Ami? Oh my God, the woman's naked. Okay, Ami's going to help um, help her with her homework. So that is nice. She can, I think that means you get your homework done a little bit more quickly if you get help with it. Um, so that is cute and the relationship should go up. <gasps> I love that tree. It's so perfectly oh. Minecraft. All right, so the family is having a nice family meal and our friend, our neighbor's already gone home. So we're just having good old time with grandma. So that is nice. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna finish this part right here. Let me know what you think of this Let's Play so far. Give it a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it and would like a part two. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning after your evening, wherever you are in the world, and I will speak to you soon. So, so.